Along the paths of life, we meet people, people that have stories to share, testimonies to tell about the faithfulness of God and how He's worked in their lives, stories of hope, stories of encouragement, stories that inspire, stories that may challenge and strengthen our convictions within. Psalms 107, 2 says, To let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Today, we're going to hear from Mr. Tom Tarpley and Miss Patsy Price. They share their faith very boldly, and it's very evident that they love the Lord. As we hear their stories and songs today, one thought stands out, and that is preparation for eternity. So let's meet Tom and Patsy. It's such a blessing to meet you. I've been hearing all about you and Miss Patsy Price and Mr. Tom Tarpley here. And uh, been hearing about how much you love the Lord and how much you love to serve the Lord and talk about Him. And so, just if you will, just tell us a little bit about Jesus, what He means to you. And then I want to hear you sing, cause, because I've heard you can really do a great job with that. And uh, Brother Wayman Westbrook, you want to back you up? So, yeah. let's just let the Lord work through you. All right. God bless you. I'd just like to say I love the Lord today. I thank Him for saving me. I just praise the Lord today that every time we need Him, He's always there. All you have to do is just call on Him and He'll answer your prayers. Amen. I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. Right. I'm telling you right now, he, He's my life. They ain't got no side tracks. This is, I'm telling you right now, folks in America needs to be in church. Amen. They've got all these places to go to but i'm telling you right now the best place in the world is to be in the house of god Amen. hear the man of god preach i'm telling you right now if you're lost and undone without him you need jesus i'm telling you right now that's the only thing that's going to count in this life Amen. one day you're going to lay that body down and i'm telling you if you ain't saved you're on your way to hell and I'm telling you right now, for the child of God, the best is yet to come because we're on the winning side and we can't lose. But I'm telling you right now, if you're a church member, got your name on a church roll and you ain't born again, I'm telling you right now, you better make sure that you are born again because that's the only people that's going to heaven is born again people. It ain't got nothing to do with church membership. I'm just glad I'm saved. Praise the Lord. They tell me the highest thing you can do is say hallelujah for Jesus. Amen. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I love the Lord and I love His Word. Amen. You ain't got nobody else to pray for, you can pray for me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, as you can see, Tom and Patsy are strong in their faith and they love the Lord. And now let's listen as they sing. And as they sing this next song, they're going to sing about their hope in the cross, how it can be everyone's hope but not only that, when he finishes singing, he's going to tell a story of how a man reached him many years ago because that man had a compassion and a passion for Tom. Listen to this song and testimony. Every hope that I have here in this old sinful world is a in the blood of the Lamb. Though the billows are raging and we're tossed to and fro, there is peace beneath that flow. My hope is in the blood of the precious Lamb of God. There is no other fountain so sweet. It has washed away my sins, gave me peace and joy within. My hope is anchored in His blood. Only one thing will matter when the time come to die the treasures of this world won't mean a thing but the joy of knowing Jesus will vanish all of years for he took away death's 
thing. My hope is in the blood of the precious Lamb of God. There is no other fountain so sweet. It has washed away my sins, gave me peace and joy within. My hope is anchored in His blood. My hope is anchored in His blood. And He's never left you, has No, sir. He supplies all my needs. I'm Amen. telling you right now, I've raised up the mountains, and I'd put my shoes up in, in the summertime and, and went barefoot all summer because we couldn't afford shoes. Yes. But you know what? Them hard times, boy, them was hard times. Nobody, everybody was poor. Didn't know, we didn't know it. We was poor. But yes. you know what? First pair of dress pants that I ever had in my life. A preacher come by one day and said, Tom, why don't you come to church? I said, oh, him, I said, I don't have no clothes to come to church. Yeah. Mm. He said, Get in the car with me. Oh, <laughs> he carried me over to Blue Ridge, yes. bought all these clothes, <laughs> and put shoes on my feet. He's a preacher. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, hey, it cost him something. Yeah. You know, a lot of people a lot of people will treat you okay as long as it don't cost them nothing. That's right. But you know, I'm telling you right now, our job is to help other folks. It ain't about me. You know, you know in Proverbs, and Proverbs tells you the reason you work not to stack up money. But if you can help, have something that's, help somebody else down the road. That's, right. that's, that's what right. it's all about, having others. Amen. It ain't about me. It's all about Him. Yes, Praise the Lord for Jesus. Brother Tom, when I just first met you, you handed me a tract. And you told me about how many tracts you've been handing out. Now, how many tracts have you been handing out lately? Well, uh, last year, I ordered a thousand. And we gave them out. And then I called up in the end and they sent me a, another thousand yeah. and we are just about nearly sh sh shipping out them uh other th other thousand Amen. i'm telling you right now hey i have i have pe had people that i worked with and i passed out tracks and they'd be gone the next day i come in i'd put more tracks yeah. and i i done that over and over and over Amen. well one day, this boy come to church. He's under. He's already under conviction. Amen. And and the, he's told me. He said the preacher walked come out to the parking lot. Come and said, "I'll go back in there and pray with you if you want to pray." Amen. And he said, "No, not today." Well, he went. He was on Sunday, so he got home that Sunday evening, and he was walking across his front yard. Wow. And that as far as he could go. Glory Amen. God got a hold of his heart and he got saved right there in, in the in, in the his own churchyard. Praise it's Lord. simple to be saved. I'm telling you right now, it's serious hell is a serious thing. Yes, it's yeah. forever. Right. But I'm telling right. you right now, right. Uh, people is dying and going to hell that can be saved. Yes. And I'm telling you right now, the, all the Lord wants me and you to do is be a light for the world. That's yes. all he said to do, just be a light. That's it. But I, I was a church member, and I didn't know I was lost. I'm telling you right now, uh, a good. preacher talked to me, and I thought I, when I was a kid, and I thought I was saved, and never thought no more about it. But I was sitting on the second bench over here on the right, yes. and boy, that <laughs> Lord got a hold of my heart, and He let, and then I recognized I was lost. I got under conviction. Yeah, amen. That's the first thing you do. You get under the conviction. The next thing you do is get in here and honor and repent. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm telling you right now, the Lord does the rest. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, I wish I could have stayed in that Amen. state when I got saved. Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, hey, I love God's people. And yeah. I'm telling you right now, I ain't got no confidence in people that don't love God's people. Amen. I'm telling you right now, I love sinners. I love everybody. I'm telling you right now, Amen. I don't never meet a stranger. I'm telling you right now, hey, I wonder today how many people go out in these shopping centers and don't never bump with people and don't never mention Jesus to them. That's right. I'm telling you right now, every conversation I have anywhere, I bring up Jesus. I even brought up Jesus to the mailman the other day when he was 
come down to the earth. He, he wasn't born again. Yeah. But I told him you need to be saved. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. That's what it's all about is yeah. loving on Jesus. Amen. Breath I've got, He gives me. Right. I wake up in the morning and He says His mercy is as fresh every morning. Yes. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, there ain't nothing like being saved and being with God's people. Amen. I, I like what Romans says. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It. It's it. the power of God on salvation to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Amen. Man, I'm there right now. Hey, we're all, <laughs> all us brothers and sisters going to be in heaven together one day and now we're just going to have the best yes. time. My mind can't even comprehend. I can sit here all day and think about what heaven's going to be like. Yes. But I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't even going to be what I think it is. Right. Yes. But you know, when I get up there, where I'm going to be at, I ain't going to be talking about what I've done, what I've done. Uh, I won't be on my knees thanking Jesus for saving my soul. Right. I'm telling you right, He went to Calvary and died for me, and He died for the whole world. Yes. Oh, I just love the Lord. Amen. 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 You know, Brother Tom and Patsy sing because they have a passion for souls. They have a passion that people will be prepared for all of eternity. And it is a serious thing. I heard about a famous celebrity that was given a Bible he was an atheist, but he said that he appreciated the Bible, and he said he did not respect people who didn't proselytize. That means to persuade others to believe. He said, if you believe that there's a heaven and hell, and people could be going to hell and not getting eternal life or whatever, and you think it's not worth telling them because this would make it socially awkward, how much do you have to hate somebody to believe everlasting life is possible and not tell them that? If I believe beyond a shadow of doubt that a truck was coming at you and you didn't believe it, that the truck was bearing down on you, there's a certain point I'd tackle you. And this is more important than that. Yes, this message is important. And so that's why Tom and Patsy sing, and that's why Tom shares the word he puts it in your heart. Miss Patsy, you love the Lord too, don't you? I love the Lord today too. Because I've been saved 50 something years and he's been with me all the, all the way. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Praise Lord. the Lord. God's good. He's good. He's better than that, as yes. we got a fellow <laughs> says. Amen. Right. Hey, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Uh, that's where you get your blessing is doing stuff for other folks. It ain't for yourself. That's right. <laughs> These people got all this money everywhere, piled up everywhere. And, and, and people hurting and everything. And I'm going to tell you right now, hey, they're scared to death. They're going to give, have to give something to somebody. I'm, let me tell you an experience I had. <laughs> Come right up here, brother. Right here, brother. I, had a, I had a guy at work, and I was witnessing to him. And he told me, he said, I'm not giving that preacher nothing. said, I work for what I get. Well, in about a year's time, he passed away. And I didn't know it at the time. I, I, his uncle was a friend of mine. He was pastor down on, down on uh, all, uh, 85 down there. And at the funeral, he come to me and told me, he said, Tom, said, you know whether he's saved or not? I said, well, one thing I can tell you is what he told me. He said he wouldn't have given that preacher nothing. said he worked for what he got. And you know that preacher got up there and he read his obituary. Mm. And he and he never mentioned him no more after that. He just talked about the family. Mm. I'm gonna tell you right now, it is serious business leaving this world yeah, right. and not knowing Jesus. Right. I had some friends come to my house, and they were young boys. I, we played football in my yard when they was kids. Now they're in college. Mm. They come to the house. I, I told them one day. I said, when they was in my house, I said, you know what? I can take and turn my stove on here, and you can put your hand on it. And you can jerk it back. Right. But I said, right now, I said, when you can take your last breath and you don't know Jesus, all you're going to find out is you're going to be screaming and begging, God, if I had one more chance, if I had one more chance, uh, yeah. they'd be, I'd say, I'm telling you, that rich man that's been down there for years and years and years, and he's still begging for water. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, hey, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Yeah. Hey, Jesus is all we got. I'm, I'm so glad. Boy, I thank God for Calvary. Amen. Boy, that's Amen. the truth. Yes. If I got what I deserve, I'd be in hell. Yes. Boy, I tell you right now, hey, it ain't what you've done or where you've been, but I'm telling you right now, it's calling on Jesus, and he's a gentleman. 
I tell you right now, he don't force himself on nobody. Amen. You get down on your knees, you can do it in your house, you can do it wherever you, uh, somewhere else but the church. But the church is the best place. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> hey, the church don't need me, but I need the church. Yeah. I can't make it without the church. Yeah. Hey, and we're going home one day, yes. and boy, hey, we're going to have a celebration up there, I'm telling you right now. Amen. It's, hey, I got a mother up there, I've got a wife up there, and I'm telling you right now, all the men of God yeah. it has been a, a blessing yeah. in my life yeah. in my house I take these pictures you know where they have them in the funeral home yeah. I've got a shift there and all them pillars and I've got women too in my church is gone yeah. and I when I sit down and study I look up there and I see their faces but you know what yeah. they're going they, hey I'll know them when I get home Amen. That's the reason. Praise the Lord for Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good to know him. That's right. Good to know where you're That's right. Amen.